ASIC's review on platform policy has received wide support, particularly from the financial planning industry and the independent platform sector. Among other measures, the new approach will require platforms to disclose their selection criteria for products on their investment menus. Platform provider OneView is one of the first stakeholders to support the new paper, saying one of the biggest current conflicts lie between platforms and product manufacturers. Yes, we are supportive of the new, uh, the new paper which ASIC has put out, particularly where platforms own manufacturers and we're interested in the platform's uh, policies around adding manufacturers um, and just to ensure that there is a level playing field for all manufacturers. ASIC also anticipates more investors will seek to make direct investments without financial advice. It was this shift in behaviour which prompted the regulator to release the new guidelines. Brett Marsh believes this would create opportunities for both investors and advisors. There's already around half of self-managed super funds now, which is really the biggest part of our retirement savings market, and they've already chosen to invest without an advisor. So whether that be around half or about that, depending on the research that, that you read, um, for them to be able to use a platform, I think, really is important. So they can transact in the one place and they can have the same kinds of administrative services which um, advise clients do. Um, and for advisors, this also represents an opportunity because it gets them into a structured approach to investment. And these investors are going to need limited advice from time to time. And we think advisors should see that as an opportunity rather than a threat. The financial planning industry has praised the regulator for placing a spotlight on our gatekeepers in the financial services industry. Big players in the platforms market, such as BT, AMP, Colonial First State and ANZ have not yet come up with their response. Also in this week's Money Management, New Count Chief strongly denies the dealer group has become a CBA captive, and complaints about industry super funds on the rise.